What is one common thing that we observe between the Army's Para-SF, the Navy's Marcos, the Air Force Garud Commander Force, the NSG and the SPG? Yes, it's their main battle gun, the IWI Tavor. This Israeli-made weapon has beaten even the US-made M4A1 carbines and the Indian-made Insas carbon rifle. So what makes the Tavor so appealing? For any soldier of the Special Forces unit, the length of their rifle matters as they fight battles in close quarters. For example, the M16 rifle used by the regular American troops has a total length of 39.5 inches and a barrel length of 20 inches. The M4A1 carbines, which is used by the US Special Forces, has a total length of 33 inches and a barrel length of 14.5 inches. Israeli made Tavor beat the competition with a total length of only 28.3 inches and a barrel length of 18.1 inches. All these rifles fire the same 5.56 mm NATO round and have an effective range of 500 meters. Tavor was invented by Israeli Weapon Industries, a private firm in Israel. It was designed to create an assault rifle that was more reliable, durable, and easier to maintain than the M4A1 carbine. TAR-21 was the first prototype. It was significantly more accurate and reliable than the M4 carbine during the extensive field testing. Tavor uses the bullpup design, meaning the action is located behind the trigger. This creates a weapon that is lighter and more compact and maneuverable than the conventional firearm design with the same barrel length, maintaining the same muzzle velocity and effective range. The Tavor is actually a half a pound heavier than the M4 but it carries all the weight in the rear, whereas the M4 carries its weight in the center and in the front. Having the weight in the rear makes it easier for the operator to hold the rifle in a shooting position without getting tired. In addition, it feels more natural to the shoulder and it is easier and faster to swing the light front end around. Another benefit of having the weight in the rear is that it allows controllable one-hand shooting. The bullpup concept was first tested in 1901 with the British Stonycraft carbine, but it was not until the Cold War that the more successful designs and improvements led to a wider adoption. Although Tavor is primarily a close quarter battle rifle, it has been recorded to hit steel at about 750 yards. This is well past the known standard for a 5.56mm bullet. Additionally, the extended range doesn't experience any drop in speed therefore in turn increasing the accuracy. Tower is not just about barrel length. Exchanging magazines is super easy. A magazine release button is placed just above the trigger group. Just a flick of the shooter's arm, the magazine is released and a new magazine can be inserted, making the whole transaction effortless. Furthermore, it helps in keeping eyes on the target during the change without much hassle. Operators can easily switch between burst fire, semi-automatic and fully automatic modes. Tavor has been used by both left-handed and right-handed operators. The Tavor is extremely durable and reliable. It fancies a completely waterproof sealed mechanism, preventing mud, dust and dirt from penetrating inside. In fact, the Tavor fires reliably even after getting submerged in water and covered fully in mud or sand. A long stroke piston system similar to the one in AK-47 is operational in Tavor. This long stroke piston system is similar and more reliable when compared to the direct impeachment system of the M4 carbines. Due to this, the Tavor can fire thousands of rounds without the worry of being clean or experiencing any malfunction. In the 90s, the Indian Special Forces used a variety of firearms. These included the SLR battle rifles, the Stair AUG, Sterling carbines and various AK lookalikes. India selected the compact Tavor in 2002 for its special forces just at the same time Israel was introducing the Tavor as a standard rifle for their armed forces. Israel and India have something in common. The Israeli army is always engaged in urban battles and the Indian army is also doing the same, fighting insurgency in Jammu and Kashmir. The tower was first inducted in 2002 for the Special Frontier Force where it ran into some reliability problems which were later fixed. The towers were then inducted in the Para-SF and the Marcos with its shorter barrel version, the X-95, being inducted in various central paramilitary and police forces. Different variants of tower is used by the Indian Special Forces. 
The basic model is called the Tower 21. It has a length of 28.55 inches and a barrel length of 18 inches. The GTAR 21 is a TAR 21 with a grenade launcher. It's widely used by the Paras, Garuds, Marcos, as well as the SPBs. The CTAR 21 is an even smaller version of the Tavor. It's also called the Tavor Commando. All the above versions are made from the basic model of Tower 21. Finally, in 2009, the IWI introduced a completely new version of Tavor called the X95 model. It's the smallest of the Tavors. It has a total length of just 22 inches and a barrel length of 11 inches. In India, the X95 is customized and locally produced. It is called Zitara. The modification allows it to use the locally manufactured 5.56mm Minsas cartridge by the Ordnance Factory Board. The IWI established a joint venture with an Indian company Poonch Loy. This joint venture is called Poonch Loy Raksha Systems Private Limited and it manufactures the towers and other Israeli firearms locally in India. The Adani PLR Systems also manufactures a variant of the Tower X95 which are used by the Special Forces and others. These rifles come with the Made in India markings and were showcased during the recently held Aero India 2021. So how did Tower became the Special Forces weapon of choice? New Age warfare is now more indoors, confined to tight and small spaces and mostly in and out of vehicles. Thus a compact weapon with a great firepower is required for the Special Forces to operate efficiently. The Tower definitely fits the bill. Its barrel is shorter than many short barrel rifles of the same category. The Tower has primarily been designed to knock down doors, swing around in hallways with ease. The users can effortlessly shoot from moving vehicles, even while driving and take down targets in close quarter battle scenarios. Thus the Tower is one of the best firearms to be used by the Indian Armed Forces. Be it curbing of insurgency in Kashmir or surgical strikes, the Tower has helped the Indian Armed Forces complete their objectives with absolute precision. If you like the video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.